It's a battle to save homes with crews at the mercy of those shifting winds. The Saddle Ridge Fire originated in the Los Angeles community of Silmar and has carved a path of destruction in the foothills of the San Fernando Valley. So far, the blaze has chewed through more than 7,500 acres and damaged 25 structures. Containment is now at 13 percent. Officials also say one person who was near the fire went into cardiac arrest and died. Reporter Danya Backus from our sister station in Los Angeles joins us now live from the fire lines. Danya. Veronica and Alan, uh, the fires have left have left signs of destruction, this home being one of them. And tonight, the nearly 100,000 people told to evacuate are hoping this isn't what they return home to. Fire crews are attacking this wildfire that's tearing through the foothills northwest of downtown Los Angeles, hoping to keep the flames away from homes. That the fire is moving at a rate of 800 acres. Per hour. More than 100,000 people were told to leave the area. Many, along with their pets, fled to evacuation centers. It's a very horrible feeling, actually. I didn't want to leave last night, but I was forced to leave. The wind whipped fire started Thursday night in Silmar, northwest of downtown Los Angeles. <laughs> Crews work frantically to keep the flames from spreading, but strong Santa Ana winds sent burning embers flying across the area, igniting more fires. Oh, it was terrible. The embers were blowing. You just, you just wanted to duck and run. Rubble and ashes is all that's left of this home. It's just one of the dozens consumed by the fast moving Saddle Ridge fire. Fire and smoke caused officials to shut down parts of Interstate 5, California's major north-south corridor. The closure choked the morning and afternoon commutes and left thousands stranded in their vehicles. Been here since about three in the morning. Southeast of Los Angeles, a wildfire destroyed the Via Cali Mesa mobile home park Thursday. A trash truck dumping smoldering garbage into dry grass ignited that fire. At least one person died. Much of Southern California remains under a red flag warning. You're at a loss for words. You don't know what's going to happen. Mother Nature has plans that she's not going to share with you. Officials say the danger may not be over until Sunday. And crews are making progress. There is some containment around the fire that destroyed this home. But as you see with these winds picking up, fire crews do admit that with that red flag warning continuing through the weekend, they know their work is not finished yet. Veronica and Danielle, we saw that folks there are heeding the warning. They are evacuating, but we're also hearing that shelters are full. What can you tell us about that? That's absolutely right. I've been covering wildfires in Southern California for about seven years, and I believe this is the first time that I've seen all the evacuation centers that have been open for this fire become full. They have at least six evacuation centers. They started with a lower number and they've had to continue to open more shelters. I think people here because of the deadly wildfires that we've seen over the past couple of years are definitely taking heat to these warnings. Yeah, taking it seriously. All right, Donya back is live for us there in uh, Los Angeles. We appreciate the update. Thank you. The Oakland Fire Department's deploying a strike team to help crews down there in Southern California battle that fire. The strike team arrived in Los Angeles early today. The department also ready to deploy an extra engine company tonight if needed. If they go out on the state um, resource, which is our 8232, which is deployed right now, it's 14 days up to possibly 21. If we send out additional engine company from the city of Oakland, it's 7 to 10 days up to 14 before right. we start uh, giving relief to the crews. Alameda County and San Francisco Fire have also sent strike teams to help battle fires down in Southern California.